So this is the SM465 top cover and fork assembly. Uh, three, four was froze up solid. Um, no matter what I did <clears throat> when the trainee was in the truck, you know, pry bar, all that stuff. Didn't work out. I soaked it for two days in uh, PV blast. It was stored upside down in the bed of a truck. I got water in it. You can tell by the rust and stuff. And it froze it up. I would imagine that the pin right here, which plays with these sets of ball bearings on either side, got froze up pretty solid. She's working. She's moving around a little bit. Um, it is sliding now. So I'm going to break it down and check all the small parts. They do sell a small part repair kit. Uh, I'm going to check it before I go. So I put it up on a couple saw horses, screwed it down, you know, made it so I can move it or I can work it without, you know, it moving around. There's a pan underneath it. So anything I take off just drops down in the hole. Uh, other than these freeze plugs, I'm sure I'm going to have to try and catch those. The tools I'm using are my trusty old ball peen. These I'll use to grab the, the springs out, which you'll see. These are just different sizes for drifts. Um, so I'm going to have to it. Of course, man has to have his coffee. And his biscotti to be able to work in the morning. So let's get to it. I'll give you a little bit of an explanation of what I found with this. I am no expert. I'm definitely a stone cold beginner. I'm just trying to say to you without any equivocation, I am not a mechanic. This works. There's a two ball bearings here, two ball bearings here. Underneath each one of these is a detent system. So in other words, what I mean by detent is there's a spring and a ball bearing pushing up. And it sits in a certain cut dogs in the bottom of that. Which allows it to shift back and forth. Which is essentially a lot of the reasons why these freeze up. The springs break and stuff. Now, this system, I can go like this. And that freezes the ball bearing out, so this one won't move, and this one won't move. So now the two ball bearings, there's a little cut groove in there, it can move around. When these two are like this, the reverse can move. You can see the cut in the side right there. So obviously another one right there. So that pushes over, and it freezes these, they can't move. So if I pull this back, it allows the ball bearing to move over, it allows it all to shift. There's a little pin in here, in this rod. This pin is what was frozen. This was frozen up solid, tighter than a tick, like I said. And I soaked it for a couple days in PB Blast to get it to, to move, to rock first, and then to start moving around with a little bit of force like that. So <clears throat> that's the way this game's played. So got to be like this when you put it in. Back in the in the rig reverse has got to be they say halfway into reverse so these two have to be here because reverse won't move you get this halfway into reverse that's full or that's full no this is full so they want it halfway into reverse so you can see the profile here that's the way the cap would go on per se almost these rods are almost all lined up like that something like that's how the cover goes back on this is three, four, this is one, two. Um, so we're gonna tear it down, take it apart. I'm gonna pop these freeze plugs, see what we get. Fun and games. Get that sucker. All right. Put you up here. this back a little bit I reckon now mind you there is a method to the madness this has to be back here for this rod to come out otherwise if the ball bearings getting pushed over and there's one in one of the grooves in this rod which you'll see which has a pin in it it won't be able to come out of the so you gotta make sure this is all the way back here
tray underneath, everything drops out of the, the shift hole, drops down on the tray down there. There she goes. So now you fight all day if you don't have this reverse gear where it needs to be. Forget about it. Gentle love tap. Don't need to go macho with it or anything. Just give her a little. She wants to come more than anything. There's the groove with the pin in it. Be real gentle with this. Don't don't get all crazy. Didn't show you before. A little pry bar. Just give it a little love. Oh, the pin. Goodness me. There's a little pin in there. It has to be lined up. Otherwise, she ain't going anywhere. Silly. Check not gonna fight it. I'll just get it out of the way. Just drop down the bottom. You'll see what it is in a sec. This is the pin. Right here. This is the pin that silliness. In here, so that's the pin that walks back and forth. You'll see there's two ball bearings in there, and they go into these little detents. So, there's the three for up front down there. So, I'm gonna take this. Here we go, she's in there. Make sure I don't lose it. So, I took out number three first. Three, four. I'm going to pop one, two. Here. Relatively hesitant little bugger. Here. Make sure I get the pins back in the same one. I'm gonna stack them up over here in order. There she goes. Slowly losing my mind here. It's all good. Do, 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 do. <laughs> like I said, I'm far from a mechanic. Let's we'll see what we get. While well, I'm at it, let's take this one too.
again, I'm putting these in order because I don't, I don't know what the machining is like and whether or not they all go together or what, but I want to find out the hard way they don't. Do, 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 do. There we go. Just a little bit of love, nothing too much. jump right out of there that's a good sign so guys down in there I'll pop them out in a minute but there we go take out the reverse pin there's the ball bearing okay do, do, do. I got three and only one I got one on the side three on the bottom that's over here that's first second you got a pin in the center drifts between the two ball bearings or actually is four I think let's see one, and maybe more than four, two, three, we'll see in a sec. So the pin drifts between the ball bearings here. You got three in the front. That's the one, two. And you only have one on the side and two in the front. That's reverse. Boom. Okay. Now I keep the ball bearings all where they, where they came from. There's one. There's there. There's two. There's three. That is not what you want to do. Second. Huh. Isn't that fun? Now, there's four. Strangely, the one over on the side here. I don't even know what it does. This one here. 
That's frozen up. Certainly not coming out by any means. We'll have to see what we get. She moves. Maybe she comes out from the other side. I don't know. Could be. Yeah, okay, that's a switch. So that ball bearing doesn't come out. And then we have here, we have one. That's two. And that's three. Now I got springs down in here. Not sure exactly how they're gonna come out. But I did bring my spring tool. Or brake tool anyway. Let's see what we get. That's one. I'd say this was rebuilt at some point because that looks pretty darn good. Yep. This one here definitely looks worse for wear. Oh, yeah. No, it wasn't rebuilt. Yeah. See that? That's an issue. For sure. Oh, freaking rusty anyway. That could have been why she was jacking up. So it all looks pretty good. So this could have been one of my main reasons she was jacking up. Definitely got rust in there. But if I was to if I was to say sorry about that. I didn't realize she moved around. I would say it was this jalopy right here. It froze up tighter than a tick. So, yeah, without a doubt, I would say this is it. There we go. Well, at least we got a, a go for it. So I'm going to clean her up. Clean it all the way out. Put her back together. She don't look bad. I would say this is the only spring that I have any kind of question on. And uh, yeah, that spring and this ball bearing is definitely of all of them. She's all pocked up and nasty. So at some point she was rusted up pretty good. Um, that's not a very pretty ball bearing. And I have it tore down this far. I may just replace it. Replace all of it, actually. All right. That's where we are at this moment. I'll let you know what's up when I get it all back together. And so that's how, it, that's how she works. There's two ball bearings. Two ball bearings. There's one over here, but that's a switch. Got a spring and a bearing, spring and a ball bearing, spring and a ball bearing. Pretty simple stuff.